You're tuned in to The Keetra Show and listening to SOB, Style of Business, the podcast with your host, Keetra. We aim to highlight the ongoing trek of entrepreneurs and business owners from around the globe, featuring stories that recount their struggles, experiences, and inevitable road to success and self-fulfillment. Welcome to SOB. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another wonderful episode of SOB Style of Business, the podcast with your host, Keetra, of course. Today, I am speaking to the magnificent Raj Bucktow, which I'll probably have him come in and correct me on the last name. He is a filmmaker, writer, producer, and he is also the founder of Fox Peace Productions out of Poon, India. So he's going to be talking to us today about his production company, a wonderful upcoming uh, inspirational film that he has and some other initiatives that he's unfolding this year. So um, just so excited to have him on. Raj, hello. Thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? Hello, Kita. I'm I'm doing good. Great, 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 great. Thanks so much for joining us. I was just uh, mentioning that you're going to be sharing with us some of your goodness that you have going on for the year. But before we get into that, give us a brief introduction and background. Yeah, first of all, I would like to exchange my welcomes with you, Ketra, and this is a great platform, a great job, uh, and a great initiative. If I'll uh, talk about Fox Fish Production, uh, it was nothing but an idea, as it comes at the beginning of every business, I think. And when I was in my post-graduation, I was sitting in a Bangalore. I was in a film school, and I got that idea. Actually, it was because of some falls. There were more than 3,000 to 4,000 filmmakers every year, and they were not getting funds to make their short films or films and all. I was seeing that atmosphere, and I was thinking to do something, do something different, to work on something which can solve everybody's problem even that time i had a story and i had to make a short film but i was not getting producers to make a short film because we cannot release short films so we cannot earn from short films so we can't pay back to our producers if we make short films so that was an issue and i just wanted to solve that and i'm very happy that i have solved it so fox's production is the only thing right now here in india which can promise filmmakers to produce their short films. Yeah, and as far as you said that, you know, you kind of got started by wanting to work on this project but not really having the resources in terms of a producer and things like that to bring it together. How did you get started as a filmmaker and writer? Like, did you, what were the steps, in other words, to get this going? Yeah, I always had great ideas and I was not thinking about the negative things. I was just thinking about positive things that time. I had no money, I had no people with me, and I have told this to my friends also, and many people were not believing on it. But still, I started working on it. I uh, wrote my idea, and uh, how it's uh, gone. Like, you know, first of all, people started criticizing it, then yeah. after that, when they, they, they are uh, knowing how it is important and useful, then they started appreciating that and it happens. So this is how it's gone. Yeah, and as far as, and I know the the industry is definitely quite different in India than from, you know, especially like the U.S. market. Like what type of films thrive in your market? Indian audiences now, you can see, they're getting matured about films in Indian audience. We were enjoying only action movies and drama movies before, Right now, we are also enjoying some art films. You can see here, now there is a great audience for the art film. But compared to US, in India, there are very less theaters and the multiplexes. But the the population is so much here. So we need much theaters. And in India, if you want to make a movie, it's been said for years and years that you need so much money to make film. Either you should be so much rich and if you're from a village or if you if you're from a poor background, you can't make a film because if you also say, say to your parents and your friends that you want to pursue a career of filmmaker, everybody will tell you that you should not become a filmmaker because you don't have that much money. You should become an engineer or doctor. Mm-hmm. It was with me also, but I never gave up and I was following my dream and see, I'm done it. 
Yeah. So in India, right now the magic is happening, and it's not like just only rich people can make films. Even if you're struggling, you have a good content. If your story is a hero, then your story can make you hero. So you can make films. Yet. You can make films. And as far as like I, I know you mentioned that you may have an idea to go and film, but it's always suggested that you go into engineering or you know medical or something other. How have you been able to position yourself and also like Fox Peace Productions, like with that particular industry being so, I guess I would say like a smaller niche or something, if you will, how were you able to position your production company in the film space? At the very beginning of this event, I was pursuing a career of engineer and one day I came to know that I can't do it because there is a filmmaker living inside me. Yeah. So I just left the engineering. I just called my dad and I said that I can't do this. I just want to fly now. I know the sky is big and I'm a small bird here, but still I want to do it. And I just want to try it. If yeah. I don't want to lose the game before trying it. I just want to try and that's all. So after leaving the engineering, I just applied for the education loan and uh, fortunately I got it. Then I started my uh, filmmaking course in a bachelor. It was animation as well. And for my living cost and all, I used to work in a KFC as a waiter. It was a part-time job. And while working that, I was getting many ideas. So uh, in the filmmaking only, I started working on this formula of Oxfist production, how it will come up and how will I set up all these things. So while working, while studying, I started all this. To try to get things up and going. Go ahead. Yeah. I, uh, later on, I got many people who supported me, my one of friend who supported me so much. My teachers uh, were supporting me so much. And from that uh, time only, I started contacting some people in filmmaking. At the very beginning, they were not uh, even talking to me and they were not even giving time to me. But later on, uh, when they got my idea, when they understood what I'm telling them, they started helping me. And as soon as I completed my uh, master's, it was in a filmmaking, I came to Pune and my one of friend who is a CA here, who understood the value of Fox piece and who understood the you know, design and the plan of Fox Peace. And he told me, okay, I will do your finance. And it's a re- really great idea because you're going to creating opportunities for many filmmakers, writers, actors, even the makeup artists and spot boys and all. And the way you're saying that you're going to make films which will inspire people, which will educate also, which will teach them something different out of the box and all. So it's a really great job and I would like to help you for that. So this is how I am got funded because I really had a great idea and a great vision. So I am got funded and in 2015 we started it. And the other one who was working, the founder of Fox the mm-hmm. other one, was working in Calcutta. He left his job for this and uh, he came to Pune and we started, in a, we started it in a single flat, in a single room. And today, after two years, we became a company. Okay. So we're very happy about this. And even when I was struggling to get a finance for a making a short film named Future Trends, today we are actually making it from our own production house, from our own money. And in just one or two months, we are opening for newcomer filmmakers that right now, for every year, we going to produce some six to 12 short films and we will be very happy about that. We we need good stories, we need good things and we want to produce their short films. That is extremely exciting and I'm I'm smiling ear to ear over here for you because I know you've been working on this and I'm I'm happy that uh that things are moving forward. And also Raj, I need you to correct me on the pronunciation of your your hometown because I think I pronounced it as Poon, but you I think I heard you say something different. It's a Pune. Pune, okay. It's it's Pune. I'm actually not from Pune. I am from a village which is like a uh, thousand miles from Pune. From Pune, okay. All right, perfect. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, just wanted to make sure I had that correct. All right, so let's talk about, okay, so you, you, you've already given us the full scope of Fox Peace and what you guys, the foundation and also what you guys are going to be working on and some of the interests. And I want to kind of get into the upcoming film, which is called Future Dreams. 
And yeah. um, from what I saw from like the trailer and just some of the background information, I know it's a very inspirational and also educational story. And uh, just give us some insight. Like, how did you come about developing that particular storyline? Actually, before making Fox Quiz, I just wanted to make a short film. And I found myself not getting financed by anybody. So mm-hmm. I thought that, that if I am getting problem today to making this short film, many of people like me, more than 4,000 to 6,000 directors who are coming from film schools every year are not getting funded to make their short films because short film is the best way to start the career as a filmmaker. And I thought I thought that if it's my problem today, I will solve my problem. But tomorrow, what will happen with other filmmakers? So if I want to solve it, then I will have to try to solve everybody's problem. And that's why the Fox piece is existing today and future things that I talk about. It's a very inspirational story. And it's a fictitious story, basically. But because I just wanted to make it a film, because it was a thought. And every every time, it's just a thought. And when we want to tell a thought, when a filmmaker or a writer wants to tell a thought, he will definitely make a story. And uh, as a writer, I made a story of future dreams. And as a filmmaker, I am going to I was going to portray the film, which is almost ninety uh, percent done now. And it's a, a very struggling and very inspirational story of a villager kid to seeing a car. Uh, in his childhood when he was not even introduced what is a car and what is a bike. He had seen a car in his hometown when there were no services, even the electricity was not there. And from his childhood, he was just aiming a car in the film. Okay. And in 2022, he becomes the owner of a super car making company so his story his problems and how he deal with his problems and how he solved that i have shown in a short film that name future dreams dream. because he's always dreaming for his future oh nice oh, i love that yeah that's that's going to be and i know you said future dreams is going to be released in a couple of months yes, yes that is only oh wow yeah, I tell you what, I love, I love that story, and I know you have. Uh, as far as that theme, like inspiration, and tell us about the educational viewpoint that you're working on for your future projects. The thing is, in India, there is good education system, no doubt about it, but there are some pathos which I want to fill by filmmaking because filmmaking is just not a part of entertainment. In films, you can learn many things. So, in my states, if I count. There are some students who would like to learn things from films. And making educational short films will teach students something about the industry, something about medical, something about solar system. You know, if we make a documentary films, it will teach students and many people about the unseen heroes. Many yeah. times some people can inspire whole the world idea which we get can change the world a thought can even inspire us to live a life and never ever give up and I am in the search of all these contents and to make a films and in search of all these people to inspire them to make a films and to make the films and to show that films to the students to the parents and to the whole the world exactly yeah that's good stuff Raj and tell us, what do you enjoy most about writing new scripts and producing content? Like, what's the most enjoyable part for you? Yeah, this enjoyable part made me to live engineering, actually. Yeah. There was a creative guy living inside me always. I always <laughs> had stories. I always wanted to write stories. I write very good thoughts, basically. Recently, I wrote, like, uh, if there is a pain in your heart burning like a fire and oh, they hate you, you make them higher, but make sure it is your own empire. Something like that. Yeah. So I think some people write stories using pen, but some people write stories in a pen. So maybe I was kind of guy who writes my stories in a pen. It's not that sadness, but it's something like when a writer wants to say something from his heart, you know. Yeah. And some people get stories and that stories should be portrayed in front of the world. So people get to know that things and it's all about the ideas. It's it's maybe I think that is a God gift which I got about writing and I want to write which 
uh, which can inspire people, which can even show people a different way, rather than getting distracted and rather than living things, rather than sometimes even people live a life a suicide. And if if somebody gives them a one thought, just one word, even can save them. Yeah. So it's about saving people. It's about educating people, inspiring people, and entertaining people as well. You know. Absolutely. No, I definitely agree. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Do you ever find yourself struggling? Like when you have so many wonderful ideas, do you ever kind of find yourself struggling with trying to figure out what to tackle first? Yeah, definitely. Because you will always have to struggle for good things and find good things or to making yourself able to get the good things. Once we are open, like uh, right now we are open for the stories. We are taking stories from people that if, if we like the stories, we will give it to newcomer filmmakers and we will finance so they can start making films. But right now, I'm definitely struggling for good stories. The stories which I have received are creative, but some stories are really not that creative. Yeah. So I'm definitely struggling. I, if From your podcast also, I am appealing people, if you really have good ideas, good thoughts, something inspirational, please make it reach to me and we will definitely give it a very entertaining, educational, and inspiring stuff, and we will definitely make it a film. Perfect. All right. I hope you guys are listening, and I'll give you an opportunity at the end of the conversation, Raj, to give us your contact details and where we can reach you. If anyone listening is interested in submitting their film idea or concept to you for consideration, so we'll yeah. definitely do that. All right. So let's talk about some of the resources that you utilize to help you use to launch the production studio. I know you you went to school, of course, but what sort of uh, any workshops, seminars, books, and also too, what type of hands-on experience? I have a great vision for tomorrow. Just not a film studio. I also want wants to launch a, a short film channel tomorrow. I want it to get broadcasted, and it's not just a saying, but I have started uh, taking steps toward it yeah. and uh, definitely tomorrow I can start a television channel which will be showing short films which will be done by the Fox West Productions and like that and mm-hmm. if I talk about Fox West Production it will just not give chance to the filmmakers but even the storyboard artists, even the painters, even the singers, actors everybody who are related to the filmmaking and everybody who are also not related to filmmaking because we are going to screen these films in a various places in educational institutes in a companies everywhere so we are finding people who are not getting job okay we are going to find them and we're gonna give them a job to screen the films to come and work on a film sets and all perfect yeah that's gonna be a huge opportunity for a lot of People, as I'm sure we can all imagine, especially in the film space. All right. Yeah. So tell us, Raj, as a creative, I guess, well, you've kind of given us inspiration. Who inspires you? And if anything, what inspires you? What inspires me is like uh, when everybody is happy. Like if somebody wants to create something and is not able to create. But if somebody creates an opportunity from that opportunity, if that somebody creates what she wanted to create and seeing that joy uh, is a kind of inspiration and I want to do it again and again and uh, I want to make people to getting success in what they have seen, what they want to do and if I can just give them a hand and if I can help them so I will be very happy. I think inspiring people is uh, my inspiration because I have also got inspired by many people. There is alchemist in my life, and he also inspired me a lot, and that is how. Yeah, inspiration. Well, that's good to know. And also, you know, you never know where you'll pick up some additional insight and inspiration from. So that is good news. And I would like to also uh, add to that, which I probably should have mentioned earlier, but tell us, what, what are some of your favorite independent films? My favorite independent film, one of was an Oscar winning film. It was a stutter. I don't know the date and season of it. It was a stutter. Ave Maria was the one. And some of uh, Marathi films, which are regional here in Maharashtra, uh, here in India. Some of uh, German films as well. 
I watch films around the globe. So basically, uh, it's a big list. I like many films, okay. many independent films. Perfect. Yeah, and I, I wanted to to mention this earlier as well. What do you? Because I know we were specifically talking about you in the short film space, but did you? Was there like a specific anything happen in particular that? kind of gives your interest more towards short film as opposed to the, you know, standard film? Yeah, like short film, no? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, short film is quite challenging if you compare it with a feature film because in a short film, you will have to portray a subject in a very short time. You will have to convince your audience to go into the emotions of film in a very short time. So short films are more difficult and uh, more creative than the feature films and if you succeed in making a short film, a good short film, you are ready for a feature film. So it is a uh, great step toward feature films, but it is more challenging than feature films. So I just took an initiative to take the challenges at the very beginning of my career and others career. So I can create a great win-win situation for everybody and I can create the content which can go to the feature films as well. Perfect. Yeah, got you. Are there any independent film festivals or events that you attend to promote your work or any other independent projects that you're working on? Yeah, definitely. There is a talk going on in between with Outbox and some other international film festivals too. We are very happy uh, to even get to the Cannes International Film Festivals and even the Oscars if we making short films tomorrow and we gonna uh, send our content to all these film festivals. Once upon a time, I have attended Indian European Short Film Festival here in National Film Archive. And that time I had a talk with uh, one of Australian filmmaker also and uh, one of Swiss filmmaker also. So they also appreciated this and hope it goes globally. Perfect. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, I'm looking forward to seeing you. A handful of upcoming film festivals because I know the type of work and dedication you're putting into these projects. So I'm pretty sure that a a lot of us will be appreciating those projects pretty soon. Definitely. And this 2018 uh, will be super because I'm going to tell you that this year we are going to different, different short film festivals. We are sending our future teams to almost a thousand film festivals around the globe. And hope so we are getting, we we will do something extraordinary. All right. Excellent. Excellent. We're looking forward to it, Raj. All right. So before we close, if you could share one thing about the filmmaking process to my audience, what would that be? See, filmmaking process, we can learn it in a film school, correct? Uh, we everybody is learning it in a film school, but after the very technical part, after the very educational part, if he wants to make a film, first of all, we have to close our eyes. If we can see our film before making, we can make a film because it's all about vision. It's all about imagining the story or, you know, developing a thought into the story and seeing the story before making it and if we can do it we can definitely make a film excellent so most of the people getting demotivated because of all this process like funds then the team then if they make a film will it be good or not or will they get audience or not right Uh, right now i have created such a opportunity where i have my own audience and it's a huge so if i can do it if single guy who is you know Mm -hmm. uh, who had no money for even learning filmmaking and now can be getting ready to produce short films so i think a single guy who is dreaming about making a film can definitely make a film but he has to Imagine him, himself as a filmmaker every time. He has to say himself, he's the best every time. Yeah. Because if he says himself best, not because he's the best, but if he says himself best, he will become a best. I think that can inspire. That can inspire. Yeah, that actually can inspire a lot of different people, you know, in different industries across the board. So we thank you for that insight. And uh, before we wrap up, Raj, leave us with some last thoughts. If you have anything else you'd like to add to that, or words of encouragement for other creatives and entrepreneurs. And also, let us know where we can find you online, more information about Fox Peace Productions, websites, and social media handles. Fox Peace Production is on the Instagram. It is on the Twitter. It is on the Facebook. We do have our own websites. 
we are coming in very we are coming in very much articles in 2018 we are starting we are open from next month the website is there and we going to produce them from this year only in two months we are open and if you have good stories if you have good content if you want to make a film or a short film you contact us we will definitely take your stories we will work on it and we will make your film we are actually living for giving Perfect. That's perfect, Raj. And also, let me go ahead and spell out your website URL just so that we have the correct spelling. It's www.foxpeace.com. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Fox spelled F-A-U-X. F-A-U-X-B-I-E-C-E. Perfect. Sounds good. Sounds good, Raj. So we look forward to having you back once that film drops. We're going to try to get you back on to talk about another project because I'm pretty sure you'll have them flooding in pretty soon, but we truly appreciate your time. Wish you the best of luck, and we'll touch base Thank with you, you soon. Thank you very much for the great opportunity, Krita. Uh, I would like to come back again, and I hope, I will, whenever I will come back again, I will come with more interesting things, and next time it should be uh, great. Absolutely. Looking forward to it, Raj. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for hanging out with us here on SOB. We hope this episode has been resourceful. If you'd like to check out the latest articles or follow Keetra's website updates, just log on to Keetra.com or follow her on Twitter at K-E-E-T-R-I-A.